Good morning. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Shantae. And today we're going to read Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. And it's a Caldecott book. It's a Caldecott Honor book. So this, this book is called Interrupting Chicken. Right, Papa? Yes. Now, please, don't interrupt the story. All right, let's get ready. Interrupting Chicken. Look at the beautiful artwork that's in this book. It was bedtime for Little Red Chicken. Okay, my little chicken, are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? A bedtime story. Do you like bedtime stories? So does little chicken. All right, I'll read one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa. I'll be good. Do you think she's going to be good? I don't know. Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, what a lovely children. Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Out jumped the little red chicken! And she said, don't go in. She's a witch. So Hansel and Gretel didn't. The end. Uh-oh, what did Little Red Chicken do? Chicken? Yes, Papa? You interrupted the story. Try not to get so involved. I'm sorry, Papa, but she really was a witch. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Let's try another story. Let's try another story. I'll be good. Little Red Riding Hood. Take this basket of goodies to your grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Red Riding Hood skipping along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning, and she was about to answer him when... Out jumped the little red chicken! And she said, don't talk to strangers! So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. D in. Chicken? Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories. And you're not even sleepy. I know, Papa. I'm sorry. But he was a mean old wolf. Yes. Now get back into bed. Okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story. And I'll be good. Chicken Little. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought, and she was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, and Henny Penny, and everyone on the farm. The sky was falling when... Out jumped the little red chicken! And she said, don't panic, it's just an acorn. So chicken... Little didn't the in. Chicken? 
Yes, Papa. You did it again. Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story. I promise I'll fall asleep. But, chicken, we're out of stories. Oh, no, Papa. I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, why don't you tell me a story? Me? Tell a story? Okay, Papa. Here we go. Hmm. Bedtime for Papa. Bye, chicken. Once there was a little red chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him more milk. But nothing worked. He stayed wide awake. All... Papa still snoring. Good night, Papa. And she climbs in bed with her dad. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of Interrupting Chicken. And tune in next time for more. Have a great day. Bye.